All right, this is the video you've been waiting for. It's the video I've been waiting for. I've been waiting to do this and I'm super excited about getting to do this. I'm gonna check out the, oh, <laughs> the MG AD20 from Andrew Demko. And we're gonna check out the custom AD20 from Demko, Lord Demko, and <laughs> Then we're gonna compare them and uh, talk about the differences, which is what compare means, I suppose. Let's get into this. Please, please, hold. Jimmy Flash, Jimmy Flash, Jimmy, please, please, hold. Please, 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 hold for Jimmy Flash. All right, so I got both these knives. What I'm gonna do, just really quick, is go through them and kind of show the differences and the similarities here. So let's jump in on the custom 8020 here and have a look. I got this first. Have a look there. That might be the cover shot. What do you think? Okay, pause for the cover and Vogue. All right, this one is awesome. This one, I know some of y'all seen this, but some of y'all might be just tuning in for the first time with this. This is the first one ever made, ever. This is the first custom. I know y'all gonna be hearing that for the next 10 years. As long as I have a channel, I'm gonna bring this out and brag about it. First custom, says right there. And then on the inside, on that back spacer, says first custom. So, super excited, and then he hand signed it. Demco there, so, just awesome knife. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, let's get into it. Just real quick, just super, super fast on the dimensions. You can get these online pretty pretty easily, but I wanna go through one, two, three, it's like three, three quarters. We stretch the nose out there, three, three quarters, 3.6 inches of 20 CV steel on this thing. Man, this thing, you know, I get a lot of comments about fidgeting too much. This thing, it just wants to be fidgeted. It just does, watch this. <laughs> you open it that way, you can take that and open it. Oh my gosh, totally ambidextrous knife. You can do it however you want to do it. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's just awesome. All right, let me put it down. Y'all have seen enough speed. Okay, so then the outside, you're getting this red G10 on this one. You can get, I think you can get titanium, you can get carbon fiber. I don't know if there's a carbon fiber. Maybe lying. Maybe setting them up for failure. One, two, three, four, five inches. So almost nine inches, like eight point three four inches overall length on this thing when it's open check that out all right let's see here now let's get into both of them at the same time kind of so this is the same thing getting that 20 cv it's going to be the same length on that thing as on the custom this is a machine ground blade that's it they assemble it all you know hand sharpen the blades and all that but this they just machine grind that it's about as custom as you can get if you don't say it's all custom. I mean, check that out. Look how close they are. Oh my gosh, just amazing. Now this one appears to be a hollow grind and this is a, uh, what's that, a flat grind maybe? And this goes up a little higher here. Check that out. You can get this in a worn cliff. You can get this where this is filled in and it's just the thumb stud. There's a lot of variations. I might end up getting a Warncliffe if they come out with those. Let me see here, what else are we looking at? All right, sharing this over. Now, you still get the awesome, awesome pivot where it says Demco Knives on there, and then on the other side, it says Wampum, Pennsylvania. Isn't that cool? They just started doing that recently, like in the last year or so. There you go, boom, on their 8015s. This is a, these are the first knives I've had that have had that new that new pivot on the side like that. So I'm excited about that too. The big thing about this, man, I mean the clip, you know, a lot of people didn't like the old the old Demco clip with the big fat clip that came on a lot of their knives. Let me see if I can yank into a drawer here and pull out something that resembles that. I might not be able to do that without making a huge mess. Let me check. This might be a, a special one here. Yeah, here we go. So look at they kind of changed up the clip there. Oh man, check that out. Titanium 80, 80, 10. Oh my gosh, 3B steel. Oh, it's breathtaking. All right, 
but they did they switched up that clip a little bit and i think a lot of people are going to be happy about that a lot of, i like the big fat clips just because wide and never mind we don't get into that but i like them like that so let's get out the snot rag of testing here and see how it's going to feel kind of in your pocket it's going to that's a bit thicker than people i'm going to the wrong side there that's like a big leathery pocket <laughs> so you get that in there it's going to go in real nicely and your little pink lane you can hang out just like that oh it smells good all right there you go so it, it really goes in really easily. It'll stick in your pocket nicely. The pocket clip's not an issue. I know a lot of people had the pocket clip issues for a while. And you got the stainless steel backspacers here and the stainless steel liners. Check that out. Got kind of semi-open construction from the back here. Generous lanyard hole for excellent lanyard placement. All right, let's see what else we got here. And then of course the shark lock. Oh my gosh, folks. You want to talk about a fidgety lock. Now, I heard somebody, and they were totally wrong, and if this is the way you think, I'm sorry if your parents didn't raise you correctly, that are saying that the Scorpion lock is a better lock than this for fidgeting or whatever. They're not. It's not. The Scorpion lock is awesome, but this is the most genius thing that they've done in a long, long time. I love the Scorpion lock, but this thing is super fidgety. I'm trying to find the Scorpion lock knife over here. I think I have them in a different place. Oh, but look at that. All you got to do, pull back on this trigger here and drops. That The bearings on this thing make this the most action-friendly Dimco ever, period. I mean, unless you got, it just period. Just, this is the fidgetiest Dimco. You can sit here all day and never get tired of opening this thing and closing it. And just sit there and over and over again. I've done this oh, hundreds of times. And this thing, is, of course, it's still locked up. There's no play, no nothing. And it's just amazing. Now, like I said, the difference are the blade machine grind versus the custom ground blade by Andrew Demko himself. And I've been looking across the back. And it looks like just a, I could do this if I had calipers. It looks like the custom blade may be the tiniest bit thicker i had to cust i had to verify that can anybody verify or non-verify what is the opposite of verify oh i don't know you know what i'm saying the other word but it seems like just by looking at it i'm gonna hold it still for a second but it wouldn't matter it'd be like you cut down a thousand trees with this and 950 trees with this one it's not gonna matter you're not gonna do anything to hurt that oh my gosh oh wow that's i haven't done that before that is cool i try to do that over and over again oh this knife is so awesome seriously if you're gonna get one andrew demko custom or machine ground custom what do you call it mid-tech and you're just going to get one and you want it to do everything. You want it to be a strong lock and you want it to be fidgety and you want it to be innovative and you want it everything super steel, pocket clip just about perfect. You'd have to get this one. I mean, I'm not saying this is my favorite, but if that's what you're looking for, you're like, I can have one lock and I want to fidget with it and I want to cut down trees with it and I want it to fit in my pocket nicely and I don't have any problems opening and closing I want the action to be sweet this is it this is so amazing and I'm I'm not telling y'all anything you don't know these things are just flying off a shelf so I'm not helping at all sell these things I know but I'm just helping you if you're like on the fence and you're thinking well, you know I got this much money and I'm thinking about getting the Chris Reeves or no don't no 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 you thought wrong I'm thinking uh maybe I want a uh what's that one no don't get that one either <laughs> You want this high dollar ZT? No, you don't. You want this knife. If you're at all in the beef, the beef knife, strong knife, you're looking for something that's going to really work, and you want something that you can just sit around and play with. I know you're not supposed to play with it, but check that out. Oh my gosh, folks. This thing is amazing. So, this is it. This is You don't want a Chris Reeves. You don't. What's the other one? You don't want. And I like Chris Reeves stuff. 
and I like Hinderer, and I like, uh, what's the other one? What starts with an S, and strong and military-based. You don't want that one either. Why am I blanking? Probably because I don't own one. But anyways, I have held them, though, so I can, I can make statements. This is the one. This is your knife. If you've got that much money, maybe the president sent you that bonus check. That's what you want to spend it on right here. Or you might want to grab one of these. They're not going to be making a whole ton of the custom. So if you have this much money, you can just kind of feel a little bit of difference in weight, I think is what I'm feeling here in between these. It's not action. It's not the action. It's not, you know, dropping. It's not ease of opening or closing or anything like that. It's just a little bit, and it might be just because of the width of that, that it's a little bit heftier. I can't really think of any other reason. So let's check that out. Let's get the scale out real quick. I'm sorry, I'm really, really excited about this, but I am super excited. There may be a future video on beating the heck out of this thing, but I'm gonna have to ask the Demcos if they will uh, fix it for me, if I break something. Okay, so we're looking at well, with the fro, let's just call it six ounces or so. Man, maybe I should cut that off. Should I cut the fro off for, all right, I'm gonna cut the fro off for video purposes, you guys. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I gotta get accurate here. This is gonna be a one-time video. Oh, the, I can do that again. I'm gonna wanna put a different lanyard on there anyways. Oh my gosh, I was right on, six, six ounces. I didn't need to cut it off. Ah! All right, so let's... <laughs> All right, let's cut this one off. Let's say this one is, uh, this one's six. This one's like 6.18. <laughs> oh, how can it be less? <laughs> it is less, it's saying less. I did something different. There's no way that's less, right? It's less. It feels heavier to me. Oh, I'm a dum dum. Look at that. That weighs less. Is that right? Oh man, that's crazy. It feels heftier or something. What's the reason? Is this titanium maybe? Are the liners titanium on the customs? Maybe that's it. Alright, so my camera shut off right in the middle of that. So I apologize. Get back into this. I'm not sure why it's heavier. I think I'm, I was wrong about the liners. I think this may be stainless liners. This may be titanium. But the thing, this feels just a little bit heftier to me. I don't know. Maybe it's because the G10 is smoothed out. Let's do this for Europe. Let's do it for their country. 168 grams for the custom. 171 for the MG8020. So there you go, you're looking at super steel, super lock, super action, super, it's super strong, it's fidgety, it's just about everything you'd want in a knife. And I wouldn't carry this you know, in your gym shorts. It's a little bit heavy for some of these people. Some people aren't, don't like to carry a knife that heavy, and that's, uh, that's understandable. But for anybody that likes to carry in the 8010 or the 8015 or even some of the heavier ZTs and stuff like that. Seriously, put down put down your catalogs unless it's got Demco in it and get you one of these. You won't be sorry. I haven't met anybody that said, man, I just wish I hadn't bought that. And you get that with just about every knife, even the really, Strider! Strider, that was the one I was thinking about. Anyways, back to the reality. You get that with just about every knife. You get a lot of people that like it and a lot of people that don't. I haven't seen a post about anybody not liking this knife and I'm with them and you guys know I'm honest about knives and I'm, I don't want y'all spending money on stuff that you're gonna end up not liking and I'm not gonna force anything on you I'm not gonna push things that I don't think you're gonna like I'm not gonna push things that I don't like I'm gonna tell you straight up whether or not I would get one if I'm you I'm getting one of these and if you got a little bit more money definitely get one of these and if you got money for one Demco Custom, it, it's going to be hard to pass on this, especially for how much they're going for. In that 800, I think, dollar range, 850, 
you're not going to be able to beat this. Just a great, great knife. Like I said, super lock, super people. Okay, I think that's it. I think I've gushed over these enough. I really, really am excited to have these in finally. And to, I was waiting on this one to tell you all about this one a lot more. And I'm, I'm glad I finally can talk to you about it. Let me know what you think down there. Do you have one? Do you think about getting one? I mean, if it's out of your price range, I understand. But what are your qualms about it outside of price? Price is too easy to go. I can't afford it or I would never pay that. Or that's, I can buy me a gun for that. Yeah, we get that. But what are your qualms about the knife itself? So say I gave you 500 bucks to spend on a knife and you had to spend on a knife and not groceries or guns. What about this knife would stop you from buying it? Because I can't think of anything that would stop me from buying this knife. So let me know down there. Also, check out these people. I'm gonna put some people up here. I'm not sure who it is yet, but I'm putting them up there. Check them out. All right, I think that's it. Thank you for sharing this with me. I've showed a bunch of people these pictures and stuff, but I really appreciate you sharing these experiences with me. It's no fun. It's not as, it would be fun, but it wouldn't be at nearly as fun if y'all weren't here with me. So I appreciate it and I'll talk to y'all later.